what's up guys welcome to another fantastic video guys in today's video i'm going to show you nine different payment gateways that are alternative to paypal now as you know paypal does not support some countries and if you own an e-commerce website trust me you must make sure you get a way to collect payments from your customers that is how you are going to make sales okay so i'm going to show you nine payment gateways that you can use either as a service provider as a freelancer or you own an e-commerce website and you're trying to integrate payment gateway trust me each of i'm going to show you nine different payment gateway that you can possibly use on web, whichever services or website you are planning to use it on so the first one i have here is payoneer now guys payoneer you can use it you, you can actually register on payoneer it's actually free to register and you can go to their website payoneer.com and get an account so i'm just into, into my account right now as you can see i've um, i've carried out good number of transactions using the platform so i'm going to show you i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of some of this platform so for payoneer as you can see it's free to create an account and anybody can set up an account as long as you have a means of identification and the likes okay so you are going to easily create your account now now that you have an account how can you receive payments using payoneer now payoneer has some thresholds okay um there are some thresholds that are into payoneer for example for you to be able to send uh, request a payment that means create an invoice and send um let me show you what i'm talking about so if i click on if i go to get paid right i can actually request the payment um from a customer so if i click on request payment sent you see the amount of payment requests that i've sent to my client okay so for you to be able to have this feature enable you must have carried out transaction up to five thousand dollars on your account guys that is one corner of payoneer okay you must have carried out transaction up to five thousand dollars before they can allow you to be able to request payment okay so that's one con okay one good thing i like about the platform is it's easy to create your account and they don't ask you for so much just like online paypal where you, your account can easily get banned okay since i've started using my payoneer account i've not had any issue to even contact the customer support everything has been going well trust me my experience might not be similar to other people's experience but generally it is easy to use a payoneer account okay so payoneer actually does not integrate with some platform for example um you can actually integrate this into some of your e-commerce platform that is another con but if you are a service provider and you work with clients um or you work on fiverr or upwork or all of those platforms i'm sure you can integrate your pay payunia and you can use payunia to collect payments from all of those other platform all those um freelancing platform if you are if you're a freelancer trust me payunia is good for you okay you can use payunia as a paypal alternative now another one i have for you here is screw okay i'm sure many people don't talk about screw but trust me screw is another fantastic platform i myself have not used it for anything i just have the account and i've verified i've done everything it's easy to create an account on screw and you can easily also verify account on screw but um, most platforms don't usually use screw and why i brought it here is it's also a payment gateway that you can actually consider to use so if you want me to talk about any of this payment gateway in details trust, tell me in the comment section and i'll consider making a full detailed video about any of them that you want me to talk about okay so the next one i have here on the list is wise okay so this is a wise account formerly known as transfer wise now if you are looking for a paypal alternative wise is also a good option because with wise account they are going to give you bank account in the u.s and any country you want a bank account for i mean any country that they actually will provide you bank account for they will actually do that for you if you wanted okay but the first thing you need to know is to create an account here is easy you sign up but another thing here is you need to top up your account in order for you to be able to request for those payment accounts so for example here yeah, this is my wise account and i don't have any balances okay but if i want to get a usd account number all i need to do is to top up ten dollars into this platform and i'm going to show you exactly how to top up later on okay if you want me to make a separate video about why it's telling you everything you need to know about it tell me in the comment section and i'll consider making the video okay so wise is also a good option and alternative to paypal if you're a freelancer you you collect you work for clients and the likes your service provider then you can use wise i'm not sure if you can integrate wise into your e-commerce platform not yet but um a service provider or a freelancer you can definitely use wise now the next one i have for you is gig p okay so if you are from nigeria or from africa you need a payment account that are similar to all of these top boys all of these top top brands then gig pay is for you okay 
So because if you sign up for a GigPay account, you're going to be getting an account in GBP, a um, pound, you're going to get an Euros account, you're also going to get USD account. Guys, we shall, we shall, in all of this account, you can use it to receive payment from anybody that has this currency so as you can see i've i've done a quite a good number of transactions with the platform i've received money into my pounds into my uh, into my euros into my usd account as well and it went smoothly i can easily exchange this payment or this money into naira with high rate so their rate here is definitely the black market rate and that's exactly what you want to be doing so geek pay is actually a fantastic platform if you're a freelancer if you're a service provider and you work with clients over uh, abroad and you need a way to collect payments from them definitely you should be trying out geek pay now if you own an e-commerce platform and i'm not sure um, geek pay is going to work for you but i'm going to show you the one that is actually going to work for you okay so the next one i have for you here is grill grill.co now similar to geek pay this actually works for africa okay so if you are somebody that needs accounts in pounds euros or in usd i don't know exactly how to get it try either of this platform geek pay or grill they are actually going to work for you so the next one i have for you is stripe guys stripe.com guys this one is very 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 much acceptable all around the world guys stripe account is account that you definitely want to have if you own an e-commerce website if you are into e-commerce and you are selling to anybody around the world trust me you need a stripe account now stripe does not support every account every country now there are some countries where stripe does not work but i'm going to show you exactly how to get a stripe account even if your country is not supported now if your country is not supported how can you get stripe account you can get your stripe account by registering your business in the united states or in the united kingdom now i'm going to walk you through how to set this up in a separate video later on so if you are interested in the video tell me in the comment section and i'll guide you through and how to set up a stripe account even if your country is not supported to use a stripe account it is 100 percent legit and you can use it anywhere in the world so tell me if you're interested in that video and i'll consider making the video but stripe account is actually a very fantastic platform if you are looking to create an e-commerce website or if you have an e-commerce website and you're looking for ways to collect payment then you should definitely be trying out stripe okay stripe is the top notch there and it's, it's actually an account that i will always recommend everybody is going to recommend stripe because that's what everybody uses now the next one i have for you here is flutter weave guys if you are from nigeria or africa you are looking for um a mist or a payment gateway that you can easily integrate on your website then trust me flutter weave is that platform for you because with flutter weave you can definitely integrate this into your e-commerce website and you can collect payments seamlessly with transfer usd code uh, mobile money different ways to collect payment using this flutter weave guys if you are into e-commerce and you want to know a payment gateway that you can use to collect payment from anybody in africa then you should be trying out flutter weave okay because this is the platform that actually work for africa now the next one i have for you here is paystack okay so similar to flutter weave paystack also does the same thing so if you are, if you own an e-commerce um, website or a new mobile app and you collect payments from your client and you're looking for a payment gateway that you can easily integrate into your platform your website then you should be trying out paystack as well because with paystack you can actually take payments from your customers uh, as you want it so paystack is also a fantastic platform to use as a payment gateway now for the last one i have on the list here is called to checkout okay so to checkout is a platform they are now called very phone but they are also known as to checkout that's the name i know them with okay so you can easily integrate um you can easily integrate to checkout into your e-commerce platform and have it receive payment from different places in the world or from anybody in the world actually because and um, with this platform you can set up you can sell digital products you can sell physical products you can sell any type of product and they have um different tiers of account and the likes of them and you can also check out what their pricing is like i forgot to tell you what the pricing of other platform is but with two checkouts they are very direct in what their pricing is like so i just clicked on it let me see if i can quickly load it up and show you exactly what it is but with two checkouts you can actually receive payment from anybody in the world if you integrate it into your platform and have it as your payment 
process or as a payment gateway to collect payment from your customers this platform is actually great for that now before um, the pricing table loads up completely i want to tell you that with payonia actually you are going to be paying a uh, monthly uh, a yearly fee to maintain your account okay so you can go ahead and search for payonia fees and get the link and read about all what their fees is like then same thing as Creo, same thing as wise account as well wise should actually have a transparent uh, fee they actually charge you the lowest or the mid market range charges i mean this is fantastic so you can go and check it out okay so gig pay actually charge you when you receive money into their foreign currency account i think one percent and they don't charge you for conversion that's the only charge they charge why grill actually charges you for receiving payment they also charge you for conversion and uh, they also charge you if you want to withdraw the money to your local bank account now stripe also has uh, a very fair pricing as well if you click on their pricing then you can go ahead to look at exactly what the pricing is like as you can see here this is the pricing they have here you can see standard uh, 2.9 percent plus 30 cents and custom you can you know read this page and exactly know exactly what their pricing is like same thing as flutter wave flutter wave has a good pricing and they don't actually charge you i think they charge you only when you make a transaction or when money comes into your account or something and it's literally very very small i've not had any issues using uh, flutter with i use flutter with on my e-commerce website and they have been fantastic same thing as paystack paystack don't actually charge so much if you click on their pricing option here you can go ahead and read about what their pricing is like and know it exactly in detail so for local transaction they have 1.5 percent plus 100 naira. i mean that is fantastic those charges are very very easy and easy to you know use so for international transaction they are 3.9 percent plus 100 naira. i mean very easy um, pricing and very straightforward so for two checkouts this is what their pricing is like 3.5 percent plus 35 cents for this two sell they have two subscription they have two monetized so you can go ahead to check about what this um different pricing tiers and what this different um um options are okay go and get definitely look at this website and check it so i just wanted to bring you guys to the notice of uh of about this payment gateways and if you want me to talk about anyone specifically in details tell me in the comment section and i'll consider making the video for you guys so these are some of the nine payment gateways that are alternative to paypal that you can use either as a service provider as a freelancer or as an e-commerce um person so whichever one works for you you should definitely be using it now there are other ones that i don't want to that i didn't talk about in this video um maybe personally i might talk about them in my next videos but these ones are the ones that i think that are very important to you and that is why i bring it to you immediately so i'll see you guys on my next video i'm sure this video was helpful if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.